actually have some of the most delicious looking honey with the comb. I'm going to try today on my porridge. I'm just going to cut into the comb because I want a few little chunks of it in my oatmeal today. I'm a real pig when it comes to honey. <laughs> Just making three loaves of snow drift. So I usually use about 15 to 20 grams of titanium dioxide per loaf. So I want three, this is maybe 15, 20 grams in a tablespoon there. And I'm just gonna add water, but not too much because sometimes when I add the water, it can thicken the soap too quickly. So you don't want too much water to mix into the titanium dioxide. You just give it a slight stir, just to disperse it. It's going to settle again anyway, so we'll have to give it another stir just before I pour it into the batter.
Jesus. last drop. <laughs> okay, I've reached tray, so I'm going to pour these as best I can, actually. Let's see if I can just eat them out a bit so I don't get this everywhere. Wish me luck. So it's a rather large bucket to lift, so we should be right though.
Okay, so we're going to cut snow drift. And looking pretty uh, wholesome. So this week I had a bit of a nightmare with my laptop. I was going to add more memory to the laptop I bought not that long ago and I broke it. <laughs> so uh, it was my fault so I couldn't do anything about it so I had to buy a new laptop so I spent yesterday setting up a new one but now my new one will allow me to do a lot more since there's a lot more RAM in it so when I'm working with my apps for video which take up a lot of room I no longer have to sit and sort of um, wonder if my system's going to crash because that happened quite often with my last one it only had eight gig of RAM and if you're using Adobe apps for um, video footage and things like that you really need to have a good amount of RAM because it takes up a lot of space as it works because you're bringing in big files so I'm really actually <laughs> happy that that happened because yeah I was struggling I was having to sort of do one clip and then get it sort of out of the system and do another clip and then string them together in a different app so um Yes, <laughs> it's worked out for the best, even though it's cost me an arm and a blooming leg, but you know, these things happen. So, yeah, that happened. <laughs> just want to trim off the sides. So I bought a Dell laptop. It's called a G15. It's actually a game. Oh, it's actually a gaming laptop. So I guess with a gaming laptop you get the um, RAM that you need as well because like gaming of course that takes up lots of space. This is all sort of um, kind of new to me because I normally would edit videos on just something that comes in the computer. So I have actually used Movie Maker and then Windows 10 Movie Maker which is all right but when you want to change filters and you know manipulate what you've already got which I do, then you do need something a little bit extra. It just depends what you want to use them for. I mean, the, the Movie Maker is fine and you can, there are filters, but you don't get as many as you do with the Adobe apps. So there we go. That's what I've been up to this week. <laughs> well, yesterday, it didn't take too long because if you've got your Microsoft account, it brings everything in. So actually it's not like it was years ago where you would have to down, you know, re-download all the apps. A lot of them are already there. So yes, anyway, all set up now. So let's cut into Snowdrift, which is a plain old bar of soap. But a lovely one. That's what the inside is like. And the top. So yeah, just a plain looking, nice creamy bar of soap. And these will be ready ooh, a few weeks yet. I'm sort of gonna say what am I doing? Sort of the beginning of November, I'm going to try and aim for my winter release. So I've got lots of work to do, actually, at the moment. Lots of things to make and lots of plans and all that kind of thing. So I'll cut the rest of the snow drift in a moment. I'll just show you the gingerbread soap, which is here. So again, very similar design to snow drift, but with cloves on the top. And it's lovely, actually. Oh, gosh, it smells so good. It just smells so good. So yeah, the oatmeal, milk and honey, which is snowdrift, mixed with gingerbread in here. Yes, they smell like a bakery. It's so good. So good. So I'll be back for the next soap. I've got a number to make. So I'm either going to do Ebenezer. I've got some ideas for video for that one. Or I've got Giggle Water. Again, ideas for that one, which could involve a little glass of gin. We shall see what I 
decide to make next. So I'll see you soon. Ta-ta.